press play, and this is how I am. I'm Audrey Johnson on the Audrey Johnson Show. I'm speaking to the lovely Juliana. Juliana is a, an amazing woman. She works behind the scenes. She was with Rocco, and she's right there with Fashion News Live. Juliana, tell us, what was it like being behind the scene? Rocco's a real funny kind of guy. How did you handle that? Well, his personality is what makes the show, because this show is all about not just a tastemaker of a particular location, but also the personality that drives the show, because it's vid blogger, like bloggers, only videos. Um, but yeah, I shot and edited uh, almost all of season two and three, and we have wow. other people that helped out that are here too. And um, yeah, it was a really interesting experience, and they really had their own kind of strange aesthetic, which is very like choppy. But um, once I got into it, then I started to appreciate the style. So you actually film it, you edit it, and you cut it. So Rocco trusted you. How did that happen? Well, we've been working together for like um, a year and a half, maybe, maybe a little more than that. So um, I've, I've shifted from fashion to also working with his production company, RLG Productions. And so, yeah, but I did a lot of filming fashion to get myself ready for reality, I guess. Wow. Juliana, I'm standing here, and I remember when we first met. You had that beautiful smile. Your eyes smile. Your face smile. Your teeth smile. You're an amazing woman. Where did all that technical background and skill come from? Because you look so young. Like you fresh out of high school. Oh, thank you. I get that a lot um, about being young. Um, I went to Sarah Lawrence College, and uh, yeah, I'm 24 right now. But I studied film and psychology there. I got a fantastic, well-rounded liberal arts bachelor's degree, and uh, I really loved every minute of it. And they very much um, encourage artistic spirit overall. The school. Wow. What's in store for you now? Um, I'm about to go film Ukraine Fashion Week, actually. Yeah. You are beautiful. Oh, thank you. It's actually going to be um, affected. It's like part of it is UN Water Day, so it's w awareness of water internationally, and so there's some uh, positive politics behind it. Are you in Ukraine yourself? What, what's your background? Because you look oh. different. Yeah, actually, there is some um, Eastern European, I guess. Um, I'm told that I'm Russian, Polish, Latvian, Haitian. Haitian. Wow. Haitian. Well, yeah. you, you, it doesn't matter where you are. You, she's so beautiful. I tell you, she's gorgeous. She's young. She's 24. Like he said, Rocco said you're an angel. What do you see in store for this business? What we all are. What's your thoughts about it? Um, well, I think that um, fashion is becoming more accessible to um, just everybody. Like the way that bloggers are more included. Um, we recently did a video interviewing a lot of bloggers for Socialite here at Caravan. And um, yeah, it, you got to see how um, the fashion business is becoming a little less exclusive and a little more inclusive and how bloggers are like the voice of um, more ordinary people and their take on things can be really interesting. Wow, wow. Yeah. And especially young people like yourself who's 24 going on, yeah. all this old soul. Now, is there a message you want to send around the world? Because you're going to Ukraine, you're going around the world, and our show is about around the world and the various community. What's your message? Well, we definitely try to pay attention to politics. We don't shy away from politics. And I'm a very liberal person, especially coming from Sarah Lawrence. And so when we talk about women's curves, about, you know, being like anti-anorexia and bulimia, especially in the fashion industry, you know, like, um, Rocco asked uh, the head of Victoria's Secret, you know, like, do you have a weight requirement for your girls? And she was like, oh, no, of course not. But we try to ask hard questions and make sure that we um, pay attention to representation of all different types of women and also um, paying attention to issues with body dysmorphia and how the world portrays women and needing to be skinny and all that stuff. Wow, you're going to be right. You, I'm voting you in for the. 2012 Woman of the Year oh, because you. you are amazing. I love your intelligence. What makes you extraordinary? Uh, I really appreciate the compliment and um, I think if I have to answer that and try to sound humble, I'd say that um, I have a very diverse upbringing, as I said, and um, so I've just always been really, really strongly liberal-minded, so I bring that to everything that I do. 
and um, politics is really important to me and a lot of people assume that fashion is like for stupid people and they assume bad things about the intelligence of the models or the inter the ideas behind the designers but I try to expect the best from everybody and um, and then you know I think that they're they've got higher expectations or aspirations until proven otherwise Wow wow we have a young politician probably next president for as a woman and the Audrey Johnson show is proud to meet tell them who you are I'm Juliana Shadlin she's yeah. amazing you are blessed to have her I, I am love she's my her. little angel I, you keep her I'm if you don't keep her, her.